For all you gents out there with luscious face manes, I'm sure you're aware what the beard knot is. And for all you non-bearded folk, AKA women, I'm here to fill you in. The beard nod is a gesture of appreciation, an act of respect. When you're walking down the street and you encounter a beard that catches your eye, maybe it's longer than yours or fuller, you give that man the beard nod. That lets him know that you appreciate and understand. You understand the effort, the hours combing, the years growing, the battle of the itch and the strength to overcome it. And the most important part, the never ending search for a one stop beard supply shop that works. I'm here to tell you gents, I've found just that, the beard nod. This company has oils, balms, beard butter, waxes, combs, washes, you name it. Everything you're gonna need to keep your beard looking its best. Now, the Beard Knot is not some massive corporate business just out there to steal your money. It's a husband and wife team over on the east coast of Australia that saw a market for something the bearded guys need. And they've done an outstanding job in supplying some top quality products. So I recently got in contact with Drew and Mads. I told them about this channel and how I plan to build a beard box for all of my own personal supplies. After a few conversations, they decided that they were going to send me a full Beardsman kit and I can build the box to fit that kit inside. If you want to get your hands on some of the best products on the market to maintain your beard, then I highly suggest you check out the Beard Nod. Let's have a look at their website now. So you open up your browser, you go to the top and you type in www.thebeardnod.com. This will take you straight through to the Beard Nod website. Now here, as you scroll down, you'll find steps one, two, and three with all of their supplies. And you'll also find some top products listed right there on the homepage. Now, if we take a look at these links, we can go into step two here. And you'll find the beard butter and the oil. So let's have a look at the oil. Right here, you can pick your quantity, add to cart, pay by PayPal. You can scroll down to the bottom and you can see all the reviews from the current customers. If we have a look into the beard butter, it's the same thing. You pay through PayPal, you can scroll down, check the reviews from everyone who's purchased this product before. This website is super easy to use. As you can see here, everything's right at your fingertips. They've also got a blog that you can check out, have a bit of a read on how to take care of your beard. Now I will note that they are updating their website and that's expected to go live in a few months. So if you do check out this website, it may look a bit different. Don't stress, it is the same company. They're just updating their website. Now obviously inside the box, I don't want my oils and balms and combs to be rolling around, hitting each other and whatnot. I want everything to be secure. So as you guys saw, I recently went to Maker Central. You can check that out up here. While I was there, as I said, I picked up some shadow foam. Now I'm intending to use this shadow foam to secure all of my oils and balms inside this box so that everything is safe and sturdy. If you guys want to know a bit more about shadow foam, you can check them out on YouTube. They put up videos all the time of different applications for their product. But I haven't seen a beard box built before. Enough gas bagging, let's get on with this build. Right guys, so I've got this piece here that we're going to attempt to slab. Now I've been told that this is white gum, I think. I picked it up quite a while ago. It was originally going to be for the lathe, but it's a bit big for my lathe at the moment. And I've got to build these boxes, so we're going to try and slab it up. I've screwed it into the bottom of the bench, so it's sturdy there. I'm going to get the chainsaw and give it a go. Alright guys, that's the first time I've ever really tried to slab anything up with a chainsaw and I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with how that little chainsaw held its own. These are the rough cut slabs of what we're left with. Now, if you actually look closely, there's some awesome yellow grain running through a few of these. Got some cool little voids here that might be a good spot for some resin, I think. Even in this one here, we've got some great grain detail running through it. 
So all in all, that worked out well. Now, we just need to machine these blanks down so that they're nice and smooth and ready to use. All right guys, so at this point in time, I haven't really been that stringent with the filming on this project. This project's been going on for a couple of weeks now in the background while I've been working on other things. And because it's been going on for so long, I can't actually remember what I have and haven't filmed. So in an effort to rectify that, I'm gonna catch you up now on where I'm up to. We milled up this log as you saw, and I ran this through the thickness so I get it nice and flat to be the lid. Unfortunately, I didn't really consider my measurements very well when I did that and it's come up a bit small. So we're gonna try and work with it regardless and see how we go. Now this piece here had a nice void in it which I filled with some black and blue epoxy. We're gonna have a front bit of the box up here and a rear piece here with this beautiful pink and yellow running through the grain. We're then gonna try and get some side pieces out of this one and this one. I'm not gonna fill this with epoxy at the moment because I'm gonna cut it along here to keep this yellow and pink in the box running down the side. Now we gotta wait for this to dry. So that's where we're currently sitting at the moment. Now I know I filmed making these and these are the hinges for the box. Now when I grabbed the piece of wood to make these, I didn't realize they were so heavily coated and they're actually pine underneath. So these were quite flimsy in the making. I had a few chip outs, as you can see there, and on this one. I've never made anything like this before and I thought it would be really cool to have through rivets on the hinges, as you can see there. I took them to the belt sander to try and get a more natural look on them so that they weren't just square. And I think once they're oiled, they will look pretty cool. So obviously with the amount of work that went into those hinges, I want them to be completely visible. So they're gonna be mounted on the outside of the box.
Once again, I've jumped in way too early and completely forgot the brand. All right, guys, this is where we're at. Check this out. I'm pretty happy with how things are looking at the moment. Got the resin inlay at the front there, the hinges on the back and on the top. They're working perfectly. You can see the yellow and pink grain running through a few different sides here, a few little knots, and we've put the shadow foam in. So I haven't glued the shadow foam down yet and that's because we're gonna take it out so that we can cut around each individual bottle that we're gonna put into this box. It'll just be a lot easier to do with the shadow foam out. So we're just waiting on the full Beardsman kit to arrive from the Beard Nod and we'll be able to finish this project off. I don't even know how many weeks I've been working on this for now, but it is finished. Check that out. Awesome blue resin in the front there. Got the yellow grain running through the sides and through the back and the full Beardsman kit. So in this kit, you'll get the shampoo, four bottles of oil, the conditioner, the beard butter, the mo wax, the beard balm, and the super balm. Now I know they're running a promotion on the super balm at the moment that you get a free sample with every order. So I don't know if that will continue into the future with the full Beardsman kit, but we've included it in this box. These products are fantastic. I've got the super balm and the oil in right now and my beard feels great. I think that blue matches the front perfectly and the products really stand out. 
So I want to give a huge shout out to Drew and Mads over at the Beer Nod and thank them for supporting this video. I'm super happy with this project and the end result. It's one of my favorites by far. Just a quick cautionary note because I know common sense isn't so common anymore. If you do get your hands on some of this shadow foam, make sure you are careful when you're cutting it because those blades are super sharp. Or you could save yourself the hassle and just give me a message and I'll make you one. So guys, thanks for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure as hell did. If you've got a beard or you know someone who does make sure you check out the beard knob website their products are second to none guys i promise you that leave your comments down below on what you guys thought of this project and we'll see you next week